Shalom. Shalom. September 26th. September 26, 2024. God is blessing me like never before. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood. God covered my head with his blood and a vision. It was so real, I had to shake all the blood out of my hair. And when I shook all the blood out of my hair, I came out of the vision. And there was people laying on the floor in the heavy Kabbalah glory. God opened the windows of heaven and showed me his glory, slain in the spirit for an hour. And God also spoke out from his glory in another vision. And he said, if you believe in God, do not fear the devil. Amen, somebody. God also filled my belly with living water in an open vision, standing on my feet, slain in the spirit, standing on my feet. I don't even know how long. Amen. All glory to God. He showed me demons falling from the sky like streaks when I bind them with the blood of Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. All glory to God because he makes last first and the tail of the head so he gets all the glory. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm just going to read a few scriptures out loud this morning to start my day. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God gave me that word in 2019. He said, you're an ancient prophetic gemstone and a royal diadem in the hand of God. He gave me this word in a vision. I woke up like five times in the, in the night taking notes. He said, you're an ancient prophetic gemstone and a royal diadem in the hand of God. And he said, a representative of Jacob's family is an impartaker. That was July 20th, 2019, over five years ago. It's coming to pass in Jesus' name. And God says in Isaiah 62, verse 3, you shall be a glorious crown in the hand of God and a royal diadem in the palm of your God. Nations shall see your victory and every king your majesty and you shall be called by a new name that God shall bestow upon you. For I have planned a day of vengeance and my year of redemption arrived. God has planned a day of vengeance on his enemies it's a year of redemption for his people. Thank you, Jesus. I'm getting drunk in the Holy Ghost already. <clears throat> for I planned the day of vengeance, and my dear and my year of redemption arrived. I can't even talk. I'm getting drunk in the Holy Ghost. Nations shall see your victory, and every king will witness your majesty and the glory present all around you and you should be called by a new name that God shall bestow upon you. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of God and a royal diadem in the palm of your God. Nevermore shall you be called forsaken, nor shall your land be called desolate, but you shall be called I delight in her and your land espoused, for God takes delight in you and your land shall be espoused. That reminds me of something funny. Some people don't even can't even pronounce espoused. They call it exposed. You know, God doesn't call your land exposed. He calls it espoused. <laughs> As a youth espouses a maiden. Your sons shall espouse you, and as a bridegroom, the bride as the bridegroom rejoices over his bride, so will your God rejoice over you. Jesus is the bridegroom, and we are the bride of Christ, and we are espoused, we're married to him. And as a bridegroom rejoices over his bride, so will your God rejoice over you. 
upon your walls, O Jerusalem, I have set centuries, watchmen, who shall never be silent, day or night, O you, the eternal ones, the eternal ones, God's remembrancers, take no rest. The eternal ones who remember God day and night, take no rest and give no rest to God until Jerusalem is established and she is made renowned on the earth. For God has sworn with the divine right hand and with a mighty arm, nevermore will I give you a new grain to your enemies for food, nor shall foreigners drink the new wine for which you have labored. But those who harvest it shall eat it and give praise to God, and those who gather it shall drink it in my sacred courts. Pass through, pass through the gates, clear the road for the people, build up, build up the highway and remove the rocks. Raise an ensign over the peoples. See, God has proclaimed to the ends of the earth. Announce to fair Zion, your deliverer is coming. See, God has brought along the reward. The recompense is in view. It was a year of vengeance, but God brought recompense to his people. And they shall be called the holy people, God's redeemed ones, his chosen ones, his called out ones, and you shall be called sought out, a city not forsaken. Amen. Hallelujah. Shirarama Kashandalamukoshaya. Who is this coming from Edom in crimson garments from Bozrah? Who is this majestic in attire, pressing forward with great might? It is I who contend victoriously, powerful to give triumph. It is God. It is Jesus. Jesus in his blood-stained red garments. Why is your clothing so red and your garments like those of someone who treads grapes? And he said, I tried, I trod out a vintage alone. Mm. God trods out a vintage alone. His, his blood-stained garments were red like someone who treads grapes. And he said, I trod out a vintage alone, a remnant of grapes. There's a, there's a remnant in the, in the cluster of grapes. Of the peoples, nobody was with me, and I trod them down in my anger, and I trampled them in my rage, and their lifeblood bespattered my garments, and all my clothing was stained in their blood. For I had planned a day of vengeance, and my year of redemption arrived. It was vengeance for God's enemies, and he trotted them, and their lifeblood spattered his garments. Excuse me. But it was a year of redemption for, for God's people. <clears throat> Just had a nice smoothie. Just had a nice pineapple smoothie. And this word is making my lips water. It's as sweet as honey. And I'm getting drunk in the Holy Ghost. Then I looked, but there was none to help. I stared, but there was none to aid. So my own arm wrought the triumph, and my own rage was my aid. I trampled people in my anger. I made them drunk with rage, and I hurled their glory to the ground. God's going to hurl our enemies' glory, their false glory, to the ground. But I, I will recount God's kind acts, God's praises for all that God has wrought for us, his holy people. The vast bounty to the house of Israel that was bestowed upon them according to God's mercy and great kindness. I will recount God's kind acts and his testimonies to me. How he showed me his blood and his glory and his living water. And God thought, surely, surely they are my people. Surely my own children will not play false. So God was their deliverer. I got pineapple stuck in my teeth. God will not play falsely. So God was their deliverer. 
all their troubles, God in all their troubles, God was trouble. God was their deliverer, and he was troubled by their troubles. And the angel of God's divine presence delivered them in love and pity. Mm. The angel of God's divine presence. Mm. Whew. It was God who redeemed them. And God raised them up and exalted them all the days of old. But they rebelled and they grieved the Holy Spirit. You don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit. Then it was God who became their enemy and made war against them. When you grieve the Holy Spirit, God will make war against you. Then they remembered the ancient days, the one who pulled a precious people out of the water, out of the Red Sea. Where is the one who brought them up from the Red Sea, along with the shepherd of their, clock, their flock, Moses? Where is the God who brought them through the Red Sea, along with their shepherd of the flock, Moses? Where is this one God whose Holy Spirit was placed in their midst, whose glorious arm was made to march at the right hand of Moses, and who divided the waters before them to make a reputation for all times? You know, the New Covenant is so much greater than the Old Testament. I think Second Second Corinthians two or three talks about how much greater the New Testament is than what the uh, what Moses had in the Old Testament. But you know, Jesus was the Word made flesh, so that means he's also the Old Testament Word and the New Testament Word made flesh, because there was two hundred prophecies in the Old Testament about Jesus' coming, especially from Isaiah. Isaiah prophesied Jesus' first coming and his second coming. So Jesus is the Word made flesh in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Because the prophecies of his coming, the first and second time, are in the Old Testament as well. Most Jews don't even know that because they don't even really read the Bible. But... God's glorious arm was made to march at the right hand of Moses, who divided the waters before them to make a reputation for all times. God made a reputation for all times when he parted the Red Sea with Moses. He led them through the deep so that, so that they did not stumble as a horse in the desert, like beasts descending into the plain. T'was the Spirit of God that gave them rest. Can you just imagine when God parted the Red Sea and they were just like pretty much in shock walk, walking between an ocean on dry ground. And it was the Spirit of God that gave them rest. Thus did you shepherd your people to win for yourself a glorious name. Look down from heaven O oh God, and see from your holy and glorious height. Look down from heaven and see, O oh God, where is your zeal and your power, your yearning and your love? Are they being withheld from us? You know, sometimes you, you wonder where God's power is and how come only so few people actually move in the power of God. I believe a greater revival is coming. Look down from heaven and see from your holy and glorious height. Where is your zeal and where is your power? Because we only see it in a few people. Where is your yearning and your love? Are they being withheld from us? Surely you are our Father, God. Don't withhold your power from us and your zeal. Fill us with dunamis power to go to the nations and reveal your glory. For surely you are our Father. Though Abraham regard us not and Israel recognizes us not, you, O Eternal One, are our Father. 
from of old your name is our Redeemer. Why then, O Eternal One, do you make us to stray from your ways? Because it says, why do you make us stray from your ways? Because you know, the Bible says that only God can bring somebody to him. God calls them. We don't call God, he calls us. And God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. Amen, somebody. God doesn't call the qualified. He don't care how many degrees you got. He qualifies the called. And God, why do you make us stray from your ways? And why do you make us turn our hearts away from revering you? Relent. Relent for the sake of your servants. Relent for the tribes that are your very own people. Our foes are trampling your sanctuary in Israel and around the world. They're coming into the church with their same-sex marriages and their genocide of the unborn. And our foes are trampling your sanctuaries, which your holy people only possess for a little while. We have become as a people that you never ruled, to which your name was never attached. If you would just but tear open the windows of heaven and come down and do it again, Lord, like you did when Jesus walked the earth, and like you did when Moses split the Red Sea and you were at his right hand, so that the mountains would quake before you. The enemy has taken over our sanctuaries. And your people have become like a people that you never ruled. And they have no power. They have no power. And Jesus said that they won't come to him unless they see power and signs and wonders. So we need power and signs and wonders to, to bring in the harvest. Don't make us be like a people you never ruled. Make us be a people of power. Tear open the windows of heaven and come down to us and fill us with your power so that the mountains would quake before you. For you planned a day of vengeance, but the year of your redemption arrived and you filled us with the power, so much power and so much glory that the nations will see your victory and every king will witness your majesty and your glory glowing upon your people. And you shall give us a new name. And we will be glorious crowns in the hand of God. Royal diadems in the palm of our God. In Jesus name. I'm just praying into the word out loud. And speaking it over myself. In Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood.